All right, going to be taking a look at DCTH right now, currently traded at 2130, 21 cents, okay? Um, we went through this one on 620, okay, just a few days ago. Uh, it was going to be this big candle at 2309. Let's see where we're at, 230, somewhere around here. Let's go ahead and put it right here, okay? That red line on this day and that red can or that green candlestick, I apologize, is going to be the time that we've looked at that one. And I said, watch, resistance at 2530 could keep going. From here, play the volume in my personal opinion. Support at 20 for 15 and 10. A break at 30 could trigger a much bigger move. And then, pow, the next day you guys kept going all the way up and broke through that resistance over here at that 30 that we even talked about. Um, right here. Uh, we'll call that 30. It's good, close enough. Uh, that is the resistance level that I was talking about. Look what happened after it broke that. You guys made even a bigger move all the way up to the high of 36 cents. Pow, right through there. And that's what I said. Could keep going from here. Um, a break of 3-0 could trigger much bigger moves. I mean, if you want to talk about going from 30 to 36 cents, uh, looking where we're at, I think that was a pretty decent move. Uh, what happened, 26 cents, 26.50 is going to be that. You have gaps all over the place now. Gaps are now filled. Keep that in mind. 2105. I personally believe right in this area, all the gaps are filled now that we're watching. We, there is a gap down here as well. But uh, right now, like I said, usually those bottom gaps aren't the ones that are going to really, uh, you know, really make the big moves here. It's the gaps at the top. I think that this one's going to stabilize right here around the 20 cents to the 1763 area, then bounce off of there, in my personal opinion, at least. All right, the 10-day simple moving average is going to creep up. I think that what you're seeing here, and I, I told you right here, uh, you know, what to watch for. So 622, and we're going to put this one in here at 2100, okay? Watch. Should stabilize around. I think it's going to be around that, that mark right there. I'm going to say around 19. 19 ish resistance is going to be off of that three zero i know that there's going to be more um i'm gonna i i guess i'll put in here two zero there we go two 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 six five zero and three zero is going to be resistance and support I'm going to pull up the uh, time and sales as well for DCTH. There we go. All right, for this one, uh, again, 21 cents watch should stabilize around here, around the 19 ish area. Resistance at 22, uh, 2650, and 30 support at 1763 and 1380. Watch for the bounce off the 19 ish area. Uh, you guys had that pool. All the gaps are filled now. That's why I'm going to say watch for that bounce. DCTH as well. DCTH. I'm going to pull up the time of sales like I just said I would. Uh, the time of sales, if you're not familiar, what is that? Well, if you work all day and can't watch a level two when you come home from work, this is what we're talking about. You're able to watch each individual trade going back to 30 days with the time, price, and volume for each trade over here on Investors Hangout. Not only that, but you have the recent news, filings, and financials as well. Okay, so all that information, especially the message board, completely free. All right, completely free at your fingertips. Everything. Joey68 looks to be uh, all over this one right now, so definitely check that out as well. Uh, DCTH, if you follow this one, make sure you hit that like and subscribe if you haven't, and share this video with all other investors. The more you share it, the more it's requested, the more we will cover it. Keep that in mind. DCTH, investorshangout.com forward slash live.